All right, video three, step three, installing the factory Ford keyless entry in your OBS Ford truck. I hope you guys got everything you needed and I hope you got all your wires laid out like the last video showed. Today we're gonna show you how to wire the T-harness to the module, get this stuff all taped up. So this is the illuminated entry wire I talked about that gets triggered by the door handle. It's optional. I went ahead and saved it. I got the horn wire wrapped up. It's not going to be near that long. We're going to shorten it. There's no reason to wrap it up or do anything with it. And then here's our program plug. Here's our keypad harness. I told you to lay out that way. And here's everything that goes towards the T, towards the passenger side. So we're going to get all this wrapped up and everything connected. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this plug just to clean it up so we're just gonna you can cut it and shorten it like I said I don't do it so Charlie if you want to pause that while I wrap this up save a little bit of time well all right so there's your program plug all wrapped up now we're gonna wrap up this part that goes over to the T I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit uh, you know this is gonna be hanging up under the dash like that so I always pull this that direction just to get them all bent that way going that way and then just start wrapping this harness and I don't totally wrap it up I just <clears throat> kind of skip over and I'm going to keep rolling here because when I get to this fuse I want to mention that again And I've already cut this down to, what did I say, this one's 58 inches. And the reason this has taken me so long is because I've been having problems with loading these videos. My internet sucks, but I'm trying to do them shorter. Okay, this is the plug we, we talked about for the parking lights that I just leave in there. We're going to wrap around it. All right, now we can go ahead and pause it again to save some time and I'll get this finished wrapping up. All right, when I get to the end here, I stop and I start spreading these out because you want your three green with yellow stripes, your two black with blue stripes, and your brown parking light wire, and your ground. See, this is that factory solder that I just left on there. It's, it's fine. And then everything else you want going this direction. And I'm going to tape them up separately. So they're going to be kind of going a little bit different direction when we get over there. Hold on. Keep rolling because this is part of it. Sometimes you do stupid shit. I don't want the grounds with them. I want them by themselves. So I hope you guys are learning from my mistakes. This is one reason this has taken so long because I keep making mistakes and I know how to do it, but I want the video to be right for you guys, but I'm just gonna let it roll this time. Because we're all gonna make mistakes doing this. Get your grounds. Now this was, in the last one we did, this was uh, black, white. This one's black, yellow, and we talked about that in the last video. That's your two grounds. So keep them separate. Now, wrap your three green, yellow, 
your two black blues and your brown parking light wire together. Just try to make it look good. Good for there. Now let's wrap our ground separately. Let's stick this. That's oh, alright. That's good there. Remember, up at, up at the module, we had two of these big black wires that were ground, and then this one that was white, black, or white, yellow. Go back to the next video, look at that if you need to. And these, they turn into one. The big ones do. With factory Ford solders. That's what this black tape here is. I just left it that way because we need the length. That's why it's important to get it out of a Cougar or Thunderbird because you get all this length. Now we can finish wrapping up what goes to the T. And keep this white with the purple stripe a little bit long. Like I said, I've already got this cut down to the size it needs to be. Except for this one, I left it long the white purple. That's the ignition with the key on to program remotes and kick off the dome light. But that's also why your truck remote won't work when it's running. We're going to disconnect it after we program it. Okay. Now you can cut these off even. a little short. Same with the two ground wires. We're going to start assembling this thing. Since these are your two grounds, we're going to put an eyelet on it. All these three, the green ones, are going to get hooked to the exact same color wire in your truck that's your dome light fuse. So they got to be put together. And you need to get, I don't I remember what the size of these are, but you need this for your T-tap. Get a blue one to go on the green with yellow stripes because it's bigger and it'll take the three. Take the two black with blue, sends power out to your dome lights.
now your brown parking light wire. Okay, that takes care of that part. Now we're ready for the T. I'm going to sit down here on the stool. All right, this is important. This is the T that we assembled on the last video. We've already got the ground on it. This is what's going to plug into your passenger door harness. I want to point out, if you're doing this on a 92 or 93, it, we could do this, and we might, we could do this on the bull and brick nose as well. But if you're doing this on a 92 or 93 OBS, it's the same plug, but it's green. And all these wires are in different locations as far as the cavities. So you've got to get one out of a 92 or 93 if you're going to put one on a 92 or 93. It's got to be green out of one, one of those trucks. We're working on a 97, so 94, 5, 6, and 7 were all black and they were all wired the same. So that's this one that we're working on. But when it comes time to actually hook it to the a harness that we're making for the module, uh, it's, it's really the same thing. You're just matching color wires. So that part's going to be the same. It's just that that's wired totally different in there. That's why you've got to get that plug. So, we've got this one ready, so we're going to get these cut off even. And like I think I mentioned before, this, uh, the side that goes up over the fire around the firewall behind the dash had tape on it that didn't really affect this and these wires strip back pretty easy but when you get to that other side no let me think I'm telling you wrong it's where am I yeah I think it's the side that goes up around on the firewall it's got all the nasty tape on it I'll show you what I'm talking about See this old nasty brown stuff? It's real freaking sticky and makes a mess. This tape here comes off real easy. I think this is the one that, yeah, this is the one that comes out of the passenger door. This tape comes off real clean and the wires are real clean. This comes off real nasty and everything's all sticky. And it's like it dries up the insulation so this stuff doesn't strip off very good. Now that one come off. See, that one's not wanting to. That tape does something to that insulation. That one come off. We're just about there. The next video is going to be installing it in the truck. Like I said, we're basically just matching wire colors here, for the most part. There's a little bit of difference. Okay, the black and white coming, when this is plugged in, this is going to be going up over the firewall. This is going straight to your door lock fuse, so this is going to be power. So when we do the truck, I'll explain to unplug 
or uh, take the fuse out of your door locks, but right now we're fine. So black white door lock fuse is going to black white to the module. There's just the one. Well, there's three that comes out of the module, but the Ford factory solder in, is in there. The three turns into one, which is good because you just got to hook it to here. Twist them around. Try to get everything out of your way. We're going to solder it. Get your solder hot. I think we talked about, or your wire hot. I think we talked about that in the last video. And again, I got a fan blowing on me. It's not going to help. Let it sit there and get warm. Once the wire's hot, it'll just soak it all up. Okay. I won't take them off yet. I'll keep going. All right. From each side, you've got a pink green So, damn it, that's pink orange. Pink green, pink green from both sides. Drop them down, twist them together, and then take the only pink green that you've got coming from the module and twist it around that one. I'm not going to solder all these on camera, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, you've got two pink yellows. Don't get them mixed up with the pink orange. This one's pink yellow coming from this side. This one's pink yellow coming from this side. Twist them together. That's what makes this easy because Ford used the same color power window and door lock wires for a lot of years once they started doing it. <clears throat> Take your only pink yellow wire from the module, twist it around, solder it. Okay. There's two pink blacks coming from the module. We talked about that in the last video. That's all lock. Pink black is lock. So we got one coming from this way. And we got one coming from this way. We're going to tie them all together. I want to show you guys something real quick too that might be easier for some of you if you don't want to solder. Um, get these at AutoZone, these Dorman, and I think they'll fit in here. I thought I had one open. You can do this on all these if you don't want to solder it. Slip your heat shrink over the two. I'm going to hit that with the smaller one, make it a little bit tighter. Take the other end.
you can do that on all of them it's really tight it's not pulling out take your heat shrink slip over it let me hand it grab me back here I'll grab this heat gun <clears throat> You can do that on all of those if you want to. Now, here comes the part I got to think about every time. We talked about this in the last video. Your red orange is driver door unlock only. You remember how you got to hit the remote once, opens the driver's door, hit it again, opens the other doors. If you want that function to work like that, you got to attach it to the one that's going over to the driver's side. That's driver door unlock only. Pink orange is all other doors unlock when you hit it the second time. So attach this to pink orange. We've been through this on that crew cab video, how you have to go over there and snip a wire in the A pillar on the driver's side. Okay, so when you hit unlock first, it's only going to go over to the driver's side. When you hit unlock a second time, it's going to go to the passenger side. I will tell you this, if you don't want to do that, because like a lot of new vehicles, you can just hit lock once and opens them all. If you want to do that, don't even worry about hooking up this pink orange coming from the module. Tie both of these together, both of your pink oranges coming from both sides of the T, and hook it up to the driver door unlock only, so when you hit driver door unlock only, it's going to go to both sides and do it. Personally, I like doing it the way the factory did it, so driver door unlock only, red orange goes to the driver's side that the T is going. All unlock, pink orange goes over to the other side. That way, I'm going to do it where I have to hit it twice. So, I'm going to have Charlie pause it, I'll finish getting these soldered up, and we'll get back on it. Well, I'm... okay, there it is, they're all soldered and taped. So from both sides, you got green, pink green, pink yellow, going to pink green, pink yellow. You got your black white to black white power. Both pink blacks both pink blacks from the T to the module pink orange or dang it red orange to driver door unlock only pink orange and then pink orange to pink orange go into the passenger's door for all unlock so we're gonna go ahead and get this finish wrapped up Squeeze them together real tight. Okay, this is that wire that we were talking about for your ignition. So we're going to cut it about here.
grab a blue tea tap. And don't let anybody tell you you can't use these damn things inside a vehicle. Don't use them on a remote start or outside on a trailer wire in a bit. They're fine for what we're doing. This blue wire with the black stripe is your power window power when you turn the key on. It's what's powering your window switches. So we're going to plug this wire into that until we get the remotes programmed and then we're going to unplug it. So there's your T. It's all done, ready to go. So now we're going to work on the keypad. This is going to go kind of towards the back and underneath the carpet, so that's why I got it taped there. This one's 53 inches long. I've already got it cut. So I'm going to start taping it. And again, I'm going to have Charlie pause it because there's no sense in eating up time while I'm taping this up. I think you guys can handle it. All right, guys, I went ahead and got this keypad harness wrapped up and I went ahead and soldered an end on it. I'm using the green one this time. Again, it's just matching wire colors, blue, blue. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, 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 uh, yellow, black, yellow, black, green, red, green, red, red, red. Well, in this one, I've talked to you about this, Ford changes color sometimes. This one coming out of here is white, purple. It goes to the brown. And going in this end, it's brown. So that's just another case. You know, just pay attention to what pin you're at. To hook it to that wire so keypad should work on this so i'm going to finish wrapping this up and we are ready for the install which will be the next and final video i think we did this keypad in the last video if you got any questions just put them in the comments Okay, here it is, and it's stuck. There's your harness. Get your keypad going that way. What happened? Well, got your keypad going that way. T harness going that way. program plug, your optional illuminated entry trigger, and your horn. So this thing's ready to install. So next video, we're going to be putting it in. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.